Hey guys, welcome back to Reviews and How To's. I'm Tyler. Today we're checking out this thermal imager from Top Dawn. Now I haven't used this yet because it has a setup that we have to go through here and I wanted to go through that with you all. Uh, I'm very familiar with how thermal imaging cameras work. I was a firefighter for almost 20 years. Uh, so I think I'm experienced and qualified to be able to review this. So let's go ahead and download the app, which we just did. It's called the Top Infrared app. We'll go ahead and agree. It's gonna want access to be able to take pictures. And then it says to connect our device. So we're gonna take the device right here is what it looks like. And I'm gonna put it into our USB-C connection on here. And boom, right there is going to be the first minor issue is it doesn't really work with my case. So I'm gonna take my case off here really quick. All right, now that we have the case removed, go ahead and plug this in all the way. It is now in all the way and I can hit connect device and then it'll want to know if you want this to automatically launch whenever you connect that. I'll say sure. All right, and then this does also have an extension cable that comes with it uh, in case you don't want to remove your case. Has a USB-A or a USB-C connection right here. Obviously, we're going to need the USB-C. So we can just plug this into our phone and then it allows us to use this kind of remotely. Uh, would be great to be able to get into like maybe some smaller places that your phone won't fit into either. And then it also does come with another one right here. And this is going to be your lightning cable with that USB-C on the other side so that this can also connect to that. In case you do have an Apple device that has the uh, little bit older lightning cable on there. All right, so there is me right there. Like hand here and it's giving a temperature reading of 34.1 degrees Celsius. Room temperature is about 20 degrees. There's my camera pointing down at you guys saying 42 degrees Celsius. Back to me, 28 degrees Celsius. Now can we change that from Celsius to Fahrenheit? All right, so yes, we can change it to Fahrenheit. I had to go up front to the me thing right here and then go into temperature units distance unit we can also change that to foot go back home here turn our camera back on and there we go now we're working with numbers that i know what they actually mean because i am not a celsius guy 82.7 degrees is what it's showing on my face which i'm assuming is about accurate because it's not checking my internal temperature check this up here showing my camera is running a little warm let me put my hand on my camera that's accurate. My camera is definitely a little warm right now. All right, so it seems like this thing works pretty good. I'm surprised. I didn't think it would. Now I've got it pointed this way. Let's see if we can pull it out and turn it around. And yep, so it works either way around. Now, additionally, you can hook this up to your computer if you would like to and not just your phone. Uh, so I'm assuming that that means you can connect it to uh, different phones, whether it be iPhone, Android, uh, probably going to be able to work on your tablets as well. And then additionally, it's going to be able to work on your computer. So I'm actually, I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, if you're wanting a thermal imaging device, uh, whether that be just to goof around with or to use, I know a lot of mechanics use these uh, for jobs. Uh, go ahead, check this one out. Uh, these guys right here, Top Dawn.